Walk the dog? <laughs> Is it time to buy a new pillow? <laughs> it's time to sell some chocolate. And not just any chocolate. World's finest chocolate. Hi, I'm Sophie. And if you're like me, you love chocolate. And we're selling chocolate from the biggest name in fundraising. World's finest chocolate. This fundraiser is fast. It's fun and it's easy. The more chocolate you sell, the more money your school will earn and the more prizes that you can win. A world's finest chocolate fundraiser is different from all others. You're only selling one thing. Chocolate. There's no more overpriced products. World's finest chocolate is not hard to sell. And world's finest chocolate is a great value. The money we raise will make your school a better place for everyone. So how do you start? First, the most important thing is to take your world's finest chocolate letter home today. Give it to your mom, dad, or grown-up at your home and ask them if you can help with the fundraiser. Have them sign the permission slip and bring it back to the school tomorrow and receive your first box of chocolate. Next, you need a goal. Here's yours. Sell one or more boxes of chocolate. That's going to be easy. Because these boxes almost sell themselves. So let's find out what's inside the box. 60 bars of chocolate that sell for only $1 each. Six different flavors to choose from. Milk chocolate, dark chocolate, crisp, wafer, milk chocolate with almond, and caramel. There's also a money collection envelope inside each box. Write your name and your teacher's name on the envelope. Each time you sell something, put the money in the envelope. When all of your chocolate is sold, your envelope will have $60 inside. And to make it easier, change your smaller bills into larger ones before you turn in your envelope. If you want to sell another box of chocolate and win more prizes, have your parents or guardian sign the bottom of the envelope to give you permission. Okay, let's talk about the four chocolate fundraiser rules. Number one, chocolate melts, so keep it cool. Number two, this chocolate is delicious. Don't leave it out where your brothers or sisters or parents or pets can eat it. Number three, the box is worth $60. It's your responsibility, so keep it in a safe place. And number four, remember to keep yourself safe. Don't sell door to door without a grown up and don't sell to strangers by yourself. Here's a list of people you can sell to. Your grandparents, your aunts and uncles, cousins and friends, brothers and sisters, and your mom and dad. And sell to close neighbors with the help of a grown-up. And take your chocolates to your school sporting events. The possibilities are almost endless. When you talk to someone, let them know what group you're selling with and why you are raising money. People like to know who they're supporting. But don't ask if they would like a bar of chocolate. Instead, ask how many bars would you like? Sometimes someone might buy the whole box from you. It's that delicious. Here are a couple of helpful hints to help you sell. The easiest way to sell chocolates is to ask your parents to take a box to work. Then they can sell world's finest chocolate to their coworkers and friends. Whenever possible, use social media to help you sell. It's not rocket science. The more people who know you are selling world's finest chocolate, the more chocolate you will sell. We'll have a great sell if everyone sells one or more boxes of chocolate. Because if everyone sells a little, it'll add up to a lot. And the more you sell, the more prizes you will earn. So sell as many boxes as you can, so we can raise a lot of money for our school. Before you go sell, let's recap. Bring your signed permission slip back to the school. Remember your goal to sell one or more boxes of chocolate. Keep the chocolate and yourself safe during the fundraiser. Turn in the money and win lots of prizes. 
You're gonna do great things, I can tell. Now let's go out and sell some chocolate. Hey guys, I am so excited to be with you again today. Today, as she said, starts our fall fundraiser and we're selling world's finest chocolate. I'm excited for you. Now, we wanted to go over the parent letter with you. You're getting your parent letter today. All right, make sure you take it home to your mom and dad. That's the first thing. Second thing is, when you bring your parent letter back, they need to check whether you want to bring the chocolate home with you on the bus or if they're going to come into the school and pick it up themselves. That's very important. Check one of those two. Let us know if you're taking it home or if your parent is picking it up. Second thing is make sure that they sign it along with their cell phone number and your teacher's name, okay? Very important that they put those things down. The letter also has some important information about our sale, how we're using the money, and those kind of things. Okay, now, don't forget, parent letter goes home to mom or dad. Now, let's talk about prizes. That's why we do this sale. This, the money's gonna be spent for some really cool things, but we wanna reward you as well. Okay, so, when you guys go home today, you're going to receive something for free. It's our very own World's Finest Chocolate Lanyard, and that's yours to keep. Now, we got some things we want to put on that for you, but that's yours, and that goes home with you today. Now, when you turn in your permission slip, you're going to receive this. Now, every time you turn in money for selling a box of chocolate, you'll get another Ninja Coop. Now, these are in little bags that are colored so you can't see which one you're getting, okay? So, it's kind of fun. You can trade those with your friends if you get the same one again. Now, if you find one of our chocolate eggs, and there's not a lot in there, but if your bag happens to have a chocolate egg when you turn in your permission slip, or your money for selling a box, then you get a one pound chocolate bar. We've got those here at the school. They're ready for you as soon as you find that chocolate egg. So I hope you're one of the ones that finds the chocolate egg. Now, we have a golden ticket that's in one of the boxes. It's somewhere in one of the boxes. Now, so when you Get your permission slip, you get the box, make sure you take the box home or your parents take the box home. And when you're at home, you and your mom and dad open the box. If you find a golden ticket, now it might be in the bars on the second row or third row, but if you find that golden ticket, you've just won $50, all right? That's just for signing up to take a box of chocolate home. So make sure you're turning that permission slip in so that you might have a chance to win the $50. Now, when you sell a box, you're gonna get your very own drop and pop top. And it looks something like this. When you sell two boxes, you're gonna get the Ninja Coops that we've talked about, you're gonna get the drop and pop top, and you're gonna get a flying alien rocket that lights up. It'll go about 150 feet. Looks a little something like this. Rocket man, burning out when you sell three boxes, you've told me everything we've talked about so far, you're gonna get, and then you're gonna get a flying karate coop. It's a chicken, and it also makes the chicken sound now, the cool thing about this is it's got a little pouch and we're allowed to put stuff in it. It might be money, it might be another prize, 
Okay, so make sure that you, when you sell three boxes, you check that little pouch of the chicken that you're going to get. Now, when you, now, some are marked for cash and prize. Now, when you sell five boxes, I've got this really cool tornado lamp that lights up. It looks something like this. Now, when you sell seven boxes, you've gotten everything we've talked about so far, all right? You've got seven of the ninja coops, maybe even the golden ticket. Wouldn't that be awesome? Hopefully a chocolate egg, and then all the prizes we've talked about. And then you're going to get our amazing drone that has sensors, and it looks something like this. Now, one of you in the school... And we only have one top seller. So if we have a tie, then we'll have to do a tiebreaker. But one of you here at school is going to sell more chocolate bars than anyone else. And I hope that's you. So if you're the top seller, we're going to give you all the prizes we've talked about plus $100. All right? I hope that's you. Now, let's recap real quick. We got to get that parent letter home to our mom or dad today. That everything's starting today. You've only got two weeks to sell chocolate, and then the sale will be over. But most importantly, be safe and have fun. Everybody say a chocolate. Here we go. Choco, choco, clap, clap.